so loud, the poor girl called so plain. Walk to the station, tears come rolling down. I got news, my baby, down left town, yeah. I've got great news, my baby, I'm blue. my version of France Chance by Joe Calicut, who recorded it several times and my version is based on his recording uh, which is issued on Fat Possum. I put a link to that recording in the video description. And I'm in open G tuning. D, G, D, G, B, D. And Joe Calicott is of course also in open G tuning, but he's tuned low and he sounds close to F. So when I play this, it will sound like this when you compare it to Joe Calicott's uh, recording. Um, <clears throat> song has a, well, rather strange construction. It starts with a five chord, the C, for the first line and the next line is well free-handed uh, no cording but single string runs and riffs and you should consider this as a not as a set piece but learn the basic uh, arrangement and fill in the riffs like uh, like you wanted to I pat uh, tapped out my version and information for the tap you'll find in the video description. Uh, but I honestly say that I, the fills are really up to what I think um, is appropriate at that time. But it's always around something like that, which we'll see in uh, the following. Okay, let's start with the introduction. The song has an alternating bass pattern and by the way the sixth string is never played so you could play this on a five string guitar. Uh, even the five chord, the D, he keeps on playing the bass fifth and uh, fourth string, the G and the D. So here's the introduction. As I tapped it out,
So we have a hammer on, fingering the first fret, second string, and going to the third fret. Pull off. You notice I'm playing the without a thumb pick, but I'm accenting very often the fourth string, second and fourth beat. As you will see later. So, uh, very easy riff. And that's a six beat measure before going to the verse. And you can either play it as I tapped it out, so. That sixth measure, it really doesn't matter what you play there. Whenever you go to the four chord, what you precede there, the open strings, anything goes because this is a chord, it's a G chord, and anything sounds good. So let's go to the verse. Without the vocals, it, uh, it's a bit meaningless. And I wrote out the lyrics of the first, uh, the three verses that I sing under the tap, because where you sing it, it's rather critical. And you will notice that um, the guitar part is adapted to the singing. So, drop down, baby, just like shout. So we're starting at the second beat of the seventh measure in every verse. And you can really hit with your temp. Strengths four, three, and two. picking finger. So that's not what I do. It's, it's closer to that. Hear my fair brown call, call my name. Hit. Yeah, I hate to hear my fair brown call my name. So that's interesting. When you, it comes to singing, the first part, the first thing is rather high, drop, down, baby, and then when you go to, yeah, I hate to hear my fair brown call my name, that's very low. So maybe you have to use it, um, a capo to adapt it to your voice if you not can sing that low or that high in the first sentence, you could tune it down even more, like uh, Joe Kelly got it, by the way. So we were <clears throat> at the second part of the verse in bar 14. So, yeah, 
hate to hear my. And I don't play. You could, you could play, uh, keep on playing. But I, I stopped. I think it's, well, it's adding to a dramatic effect. Yeah, I hate to hear my, hear my. You see, there's a beat, nothing. This goes into the next beat, there are 16. Yeah, hear my, bam, bam, my name. And here I'm doing all kinds of uh, variations of the riffs. And... <clears throat> Note that YouTube has a slow down function, so if it's going too fast in the performance video, you can slow it down and see what I'm doing. The best thing is that you develop your own um, licks. Now, in the tablature, I do it. And just twice, but you will notice that sometimes I play it three times or three variations. The same as uh, Joe Calicut does. Uh, <clears throat> and by the way, he sings two additional versions, but not complete. Uh, <clears throat> you could do that too, of course, and, or add other versions, uh, verses uh, with your vocals. Okay. So we have bar 19. I play it like this. All kinds of little variations. And then, for the last line, we're in bar uh, 23. Well, she called so loud the poor Then I go with for the next verse with a slide and again start singing on the second beat of the in this case the seventh measure. So let's do that uh, second measure just for the fun of it. Wait, no. Walk to the station, tears come running down. I got news, my baby. I have the first solo, which I did not tap out, because it uses uh, mainly uh, bar 42, 43, 44, and 45 as uh, well core of that solo. So what I'm doing is, after a few of those riffs, that's bar 42. there in the bass. Uh, one more time, bar 42. I simply add my pinky. You could do the third finger, of course, too. And get a little movement in the bass there. Hammer on, pull off. the end of bar 45 going into bar 46. 
and then I do a couple of those riffs. Again. Again, the muting is also important. That's what I'm doing. I'm not leaning on the bridge like that, like Chet Atkins picking, for example, or Travis picking, when I'm playing open and then muted. The country blues bass. for the, the five chord. Which is the same as in the, the second solo. Um, the only difference is that in bar 51, in the, in the first solo I'm doing bar 50 for example, and then Calicut doesn't play any solo, so I just added that. And with uh, Mans Lipscomb in mind, Mans Lipscomb has several songs, which uh, you could say two songs for the price of one. So he does a solo with, which doesn't uh, make any sense to what he previously played. Uh, in, for example, So Different Blues, that's a good example. And that's what I did. Uh, I made a solo which has nothing to do, especially the first part. So that's G chord. Sliding up to the 8th fret and adding the second finger to the 1st string 9th fret. Sorry. Simply going down to our C. And this is what we've seen before, but it's in bars 43 and so on. B 
bending and pull up. And then we're going to fade out with whatever riff comes to your mind. Tech. What I'm doing is hitting the 8th fret and I mute with my index and well mainly the index the 3rd <coughs> and the 4th string and I'm bending the 1st string so that the 2nd the string neither uh, rings and I'm muting with my palm with this part of my hand when it goes down Although I, I hit all the strings, you only hear the percussive sound of the, the other strings and only the first string rings. Five, sixth fret, second string, open, first string. First fret, second string, third fret, third string. That's it. That's it for France. Chance. Have fun.